So they're all in. Stand by for a start, 2,000 metres in front of them, and they're racing with Goumet jumping well. Moctasar box to box has got a nice position early on, and so too is Goldmark with the white cap, red cap to the outside of Merlin's beard as they go into the first turn. It's Merlin's beard coming over to grab the fence. Grania is right there. Moctasar box to box. Leaders are followed by Goldmark. Duke de Kent is halfway down the field, followed by Sovereign Spirit. Then comes Illuminate to the inside, White Jacket is simply Sondheim, followed by Goumet, they go into the back, Parlando, Classical Wave and Burglar are the next few. 1,400 metres left to gallop and the lead is held by Merlin's Beard. From Grenier in second position, Pale Blue Jacket, two lengths away to Moctasar, followed by Box to Box, Goldmark a little keen, Duke de Kent is next, and Illuminated Sovereign Spirit, Parlando, simply Sondheim is also a little bit buzzy towards the back end of the field, Goumet is on the inside, Yellow Cap, Classical Classical wave disputes last with Burglar. So they've got a thousand to go, and it is still Merlin's beard from Grania. They're split by three quarters of a length. A length and a half away to Moktasab in third. Box to box is just in behind them in the catbird seat, being followed by Duke de Kent as they head now towards the final 800. Girl Mark, Sovereign Spirit illuminated a further back, followed by Simply Sondheim, Parlando, then comes Goume, Classical Wave, and Burglar to the inside. Homeward bound in inside the 600 meter marker and it's Merlin's beard the leader from Mok to Saab giving chase then Grania box to box is trying to open up now and is making ground on the leaders Sovereign Spirits also trying to come with a run Illuminators to the inside running rail heading down towards the last 300 here's box to box on the wide outside over on the far running rail Merlin's beard Sovereign Spirit Paul Lando's coming home really well and Burglar's wandering around a little bit it is box to box and Paul Lando two big players in the turf series and it's Parlando who's coming through to take it. Parlando the winner. Close second, box to box and Burglar. Then Sovereign Spirit and Moctasar clear of Illuminated. And best of the rest was Merlin's beard. Yeah, what drama. Um, we spoke to the, the trainer's representative, the trainer's son beforehand, Harvey Williams. Uh, listen, I don't know what you were expecting fully coming here because I think you were a little bit nervous, a little bit nervous about speaking to us beforehand, but um, you won't mind speaking after that, will you? No, listen, he's run a great race. He's done everything we've asked for him and he's stayed on well. He's, he's done what we've wanted him to do for the past few runs. He's finally put the, put the job to bed, so we're very happy with that. Delighted. I think that the father trainer will be as well watching on. Um, Unless we've got this wrong, you've won the series as well. Dead heated for points with box to box, but by virtue of winning the race, that's the $40,000 bonus in the bag as well. Listen, that's great news. It's, it's more than what we would have wanted. We came out here to win a race and we've taken the series home, so we can't argue with that. You will be back. Team Williams back next year as well? Definitely. We'll, we'll, let, you go, we'll let you go and greet your winner. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. So the result of the third race, the Vision 2030 by Bay on Turf Series race. First, number 11, Parlando. Second, number six, Box to Box. Third, number seven, Burglar. And fourth, number two, Sovereign Spirit. Fifth was number 13, Moctasab. The distance is one length and a short head. One length and a short head. And the official time of the winning horse, two minutes, 01.71. Two minutes, 01.71. Well, he's finally here, then let's have a word with winning jockey Gerard Mosse. Gerard, you read the script, you timed that beautifully. Well, I used to ride a horse already one time, and then he really uh, gave me a good feel, T keep, turn, keep turning. And then he really uh, traveled nice. He was relaxed himself behind. Then I was waiting for my time. I know he will finish off well, well. He gave me a good acceleration. And he win because uh, I've been lucky to ride him. And the race panned out beautifully for him. And, and as you said, he's always been a bit unlucky with his draw, but today he just seems to have Well, we was right. always been lucky, but the thing is, if you ride him too close, you give me too much, 
He's a very generous horse, and when he's between horses, he wants to give too much. Today, I've been lucky to be behind Relax. When I pressed the button, he was ready to enter. Well, congratulations then. Let's hear a huge round of applause then for our winning jockey, Gerard Mosse, on board Parlando, the champion of a 2023-2024 Bahrain Turf Series for the middle distance horses. Well, Gerard Mosse, Parlando, Ian Williams. And the result is now official. They have weighed in, weighed in for our third race, confirming the winner, number 11, Parlando. Second, number six, Box to Box. Third, number seven, Burglar. Fourth, number two, Sovereign Spirit. And fifth, for the record, number 13, Moktasab. Come to the trophy presentation for the Vision 2030 by Bayon. This, the final race as part of the Bahrain Turf Series for the middle distance horses. Victory then goes to Parlando, who then secures overall victory in the middle distance division. And presenting the trophy is Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, chairman of Bayon. Presenting the trophy there to Harvey Williams, son of trainer Ian Williams, winning jockey Gerald Mosse alongside. Sheikh Abdullah, well done to Parlando then, winner of the Vision 2030 Cup by Bayon, also winner of the Bahrain Turf Series for this season.